But first, ladies and gentlemen, we have a tradition on this show. Every morning I read to you guys a random Bible chapter. So I thank you guys for joining me this morning. I'm going to read you a Bible chapter, and then we'll, we'll get right into the gaming. We, uh, we always learn a little extra right here in the morning. So here we go. Three, two, ever. First Corinthians 3. Brothers and sisters, I couldn't talk to you as a spiritual people, but as a people still influenced by your corrupt nature. You are infants in your faith in Christ. I gave you milk to drink. I didn't give you solid food because you weren't ready for it. Even now, you, weren't, you aren't ready for it because you're still influenced by your corrupt nature. When you are jealous and quarrel among yourselves, aren't you influenced by your corrupt nature and living by human standards? When some of you say, I follow Paul, and others say, I follow Apollos, aren't you acting like sinful humans? Who is Apollos? Who is Paul? They are servants who helped you come to faith. Each did what the Lord gave him to do. I planted and Apollos watered, but God made it grow. So neither the one who plants nor the one who waters is important because only God makes it grow. The one who plants and the one who waters have the same goal and each will receive a reward for his own work. We are God's co-workers. You are God's field. You are God's building. As a skilled and experienced builder, I use the gift that God gave me to lay the foundation for that building. However, someone else is building on it. Each person must be careful how he builds on it. After all, no one can lay any other foundation than the one that is already laid. And that foundation is Jesus Christ. People may build on this foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, or straw. The day will make what each one does clearly visible because fire will reveal it. That fire will determine what, what kind of work each person has done. If what a person has built survives, he will receive a reward. If his work is burned up, he will suffer the loss. However, he will be saved through it. Though oh, he, was, he will be saved, though it will be like going through a fire. Don't you, don't you know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit lives in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy him because God's temple is holy. You are that holy temple. Don't deceive yourselves. If any of you think you are wise in the ways of this world, you should give up that wisdom in order to become really wise. The wisdom of this world is nonsense in God's sight. That's why scripture says God catches the wise in their cleverness. Again, scripture says the Lord knows that the thoughts of the wise are pointless. So don't brag about people. Everything belongs to you. Whether it is Paul, Apollos, Cephas, the world, life or death, present or future things, everything belongs to you. You belong to Christ and Christ belongs to God. Amen. I don't even think I got to add to that. I don't even think I, I don't wait. Hold up. This is why I don't read these. This is this is why this is why you don't read these. Look. This is you belong to Christ. Hold on. Wait. Wait. Christ belongs to God. Why is that not the title? Anyway, let's continue. Thank you guys for joining me this morning. That was our random Bible verse. Chapter. Chapter. Yeah. First Corinthians three. I think so. Thank you guys.